Hey guys, it's still there? Um, Alright, so we are now on this game between Indiana Pacers and Portland Trail Blazers. This will happen 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That will be 10 o'clock a.m. Manila. Uh, Indiana Pacers, they're having a record of 3 wins and 6 losses, while Portland Trail Blazers, uh, they're having almost the same record with 3 wins and 5 losses. Before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel. Please click on the <coughs> subscribe button below. Pass a baller. Also include that bell logo. That way automatically you guys will be receiving notifications whenever there are new videos that are uploaded. Alright? Alright. What do we have here? Um, Indiana Pacers, uh, they're having a back-to-back -back wins uh, approaching this game. So obviously the momentum is at their end or at their side. While Portland Trailblazers would be enjoying their home court, uh, they're actually coming off uh, this, man, bad stretch. I guess they've been losing for three games now. Three games in a row. Ooh, so this one's hard, you know, because, again, Indiana Pacers, uh, they've won back-to-back. -back. Portland Trailblazers, they've lost three games in a row, but they are at home. And if you take a look at both teams, um, let's be honest, Indiana Pacers, of course, they got some stars. You know? They got some bonus. Uh, they got LeVert. You know? um, uh, Lamb is actually out. But uh, they got Brogdon, right? Um, but for Portland Trailblazers, they got more. They got Lillard, number, that's number one, obviously. Number two, obviously, would be McCollum. They have Nurkic. They got Little. Um, they got Larry Nance, man. They have more people out there. They have more firepower. And they are at home. My question is, is there something wrong with Portland though? Because considering the fact that uh, they're having, you know, more weapons, quote-unquote, they're still, you know, they've been losing. Um, for Indiana Pacers, uh, the cohesiveness lately have, you know, has been great. Again, they've defeated, uh, they've won twice, and they even defeated New York Knicks, uh, which is having a very, you know, a very good start. So it's, this one's hard. Again, um, it could be a game where in Indiana Pacers could go out there and you know be the same, uh, be the same um, hot team that they've been for the past couple of games. Uh, but for Portland Trailblazers, the the thing about Portland Trailblazers is that once they're on, they can actually beat any team, literally any team. When Lillard is on fire, they can beat the Lakers. They can beat whoever. They can beat the Bucks. It's just that right now, or lately, you know, they've been down. So I'm waiting for, for, for these go, for, for these good teams. I'm actually waiting for this one breakout game uh, that they, that they'd be having, and basically that's the start of uh, of their um, turnaround, so to speak. And I'm actually looking at this game as highly likely that game that I'm talking about for Portland Trail Blazers. And you know what? I checked on uh, the spread as well. It's minus 4.5, something that is doable. Um, so I'm picking on Portland Trail Blazers on this. They are at home. They are healthier. Lamb, I don't think if Lamb would be playing for the Pacers. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure that uh, Lillard would be out there eager to you know break that losing streak that they've been having. So my pick on this one would be Portland Trail Blazers, minus 4.5. Peace out. Pass love. God bless.